Mahler and we are here for another installment of Tips and Tricks. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about double stops. And so, what exactly do I mean when I say double stops? What I mean is that you are actually playing on two strings at once. So instead of just playing on one string, like the E string, my bow is actually hitting both the A string and the E string. And it could be just the two open strings with no fingers, or I could have a finger on either string. So that's on the open A string and then fingers on the E string, or open E string, putting my fingers on the A string. So either way is a double stop. You can also have the same finger going on both strings. So this would be like my first finger hitting both the A and the E strings. So. There are two big tricks to playing double stops. And the first one is about your bow. So the big mistake that a lot of people make, that I see a lot of my students make, is that when they need to have their bow on both strings, they'll push on the bow to make their bow hit the two strings at once. And you don't want to do that because then you get a nasty crunchy sand. So in order to get your bow to hit both strings, you have to adjust this arm your right arm, you have to adjust the height of it so that your bow is hitting both strings. So you can just practice that. Just practice your open strings with no fingers. You want to make sure that the sand is even on both strings. If my bow is a little heavier on the A string, for example, just kind of tipping over a little and hitting the E string, you won't hear the E string solidly enough. So you want to make sure that your bow is really balanced. When you actually put your fingers on the string to play the notes, you'll notice that you may have to adjust your balance a little bit because even just the act of pushing the strings down to the fingerboard will change the level of the string where your bow is going. So you'll constantly have to be adjusting that balance on your bow and make sure that it's hitting both strings. Generally, what I find happens is that your bow tends to naturally gravitate towards the string that your fingers are on, which makes sense because that's normally our goal is to have the bow playing the, thing, the string that your finger is on. But in the case of double stops, we need it to hit both that string and an adjacent one. So that's trick number one. Trick number one, Make sure that the bow balance is correct. And trick number two has to do with your left hand fingers and making sure that they're curled around and that they're right up on their tips. You wanna make sure that they're right on their tips so that your finger isn't leaning over and hitting the other string. Because if you're trying to play a double stop with a finger on one string and your open string on the other, this is especially challenging if the finger's on the lower string, so on the A string, for example, and you're playing open E, it's especially challenging not to have your fingers lean over and hit the E string a little bit. So you need to make sure that you are right up on the tips of your fingers. So those are my two tricks for you today for playing double stops. Don't push on your bow. Make sure that you adjust the balance. So adjust the height of your right arm to get that balance correct and make sure that your left hand, make sure that your fingers are right up on their tips so that you're not hitting other strings with your fingers. Otherwise, you're going to get squeaky sands that you won't like so much. So happy fiddling. <laughs>